August on Unicycles and we're doing it for WWF which is the World Wildlife Fund because they are they have a sustainable fishing initiative called SASI which is with INJ. So basically we are doing this because we all we are all about the planet, we are all for the planet. We officially call ourselves the One Wheel One Planet <laughs> campaign. I spent 12 years of my life juggling and through that got introduced to unicycling and about five years ago got quite serious about unicycling and it took over and that's what I do now. But basically anyone can do unicycling, you don't have to have like a natural juggling ability or natural sense of balance, that all can be learned. Learning to ride a unicycle is just like learning to ride a bicycle. And I train only with men, there are barely any women that ride unicycles, so trying to compare notes <laughs> with women is very rare. <laughs> and um, obviously like sitting on a saddle to a man is quite a different affair. So I'm the only one doing the Argus on a unicycle, only female. Um, I've done it once before. In terms of strength, I'm quite a strong rider and I do challenge most of the men. 110 kilometers is far and um, the fastest rider so far has done it in 5 hours 15 which is a long time to sit on a saddle. We can't coast, we have to pedal the whole time and we don't really have um, the opportunity to get off our saddle much so we, we literally have to take little breaks just so or we'll try stand and pedal cycle for a while so that we can um, allow blood flow to recirculate and that kind of thing. On a bicycle you could ride like say 50 kilometers in a few hours um, or in a couple of hours. On a unicycle it's we ride at about 15 maybe 20 kilometers per hour max so if we want to do 50, 60, 70, 80 kilometers that's like four hours, five hours of our day gone so it is a challenge. Yeah.